Oh god, what have I done? Yes, this is the new Nerf Ultra 1. Which, you know, is a new blaster with new dart. I'm not too terribly excited about this and all the cash grabbiness of this that Hasbro has done. Because I just, oh, whenever I look at this box, I can just see it for what it is. It's just a cash grab and sort of dart DRM, which we'll get on to in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and take the blaster out of the box. Just so you can sort of get the whole unboxing experience. <sighs> Ridiculous. Just... Like, I think the blaster looks neat, but beyond that, I just see it for what it is. A cash grab for Hasbro to get stuff. And I'll likely end up returning this after the review. Here's your darts and your instructions. Yada, yada, yada. And your drum pieces. Ugh, God. And don't worry, before I return, I'll put all the darts back in the bag and such, so a kid's not gonna get one of these for his birthday or whatever, and then be like, oh, what am, I don't have darts, it's supposed to come with darts. Whatever. I just, you know, man, like, I look at this and all I see is cash grab. I keep saying it, but uh, yeah. And look, they've only put the gold on one side, yay. I mean, it is at least slightly painted on one side. Thanks, Hasbro. And I'm gonna get this all slotted in. I believe it just slots in simply like this. The whole system seems to work a bit like the Mastodon. Which... Slots are... How are you slot together? And I'm not even going to bother looking at instructions. Because <laughs> I am just that jaded by this. Uh, come on. Okay. This goes like this. Or does it? Oh, I see. There we go. There are two slots for the first thing. Then you take... The other bit here, and then you just slot it into place. Goes in. Hopefully I can get this apart for returning it to the Walmart where I got this, which I'm not sure of the actual street date for this blaster, but one of my local Walmarts had it, so whatever. Like, the ergonomics are okay. Like, the stock's a little bit short. It's made of a softer plastic right there. You got... At least the rev trigger is nice, but that trigger pull is just sort of long. And I've actually already seen footage of the sort of Ultra One launch party, which I'm pretty sure Drac was part of. I know Buff Daddy went. But yeah, like, there, there was a really cool sort of target practice looking thing. But I saw that the blasters were malfunctioning a lot. There we go. I am just so freaking done with all of the sort of cash grab you Hasbro thing, like... We are all excited hoping the Ultra One would be sort of a Dart Zone Pro style thing where they're finally getting into the sort of sports uh, equipment market, like, with the higher powered blasters, but nope! It's just another way for Hasbro to sort of try to keep people into the Hasbro nerf ecosystem where it's like, number one blasting brand, well that's all they've got to their name, is the old name and the fact that they're, they've are they lost a good bit of market share because of companies like Dart Zone and X-Shot and everything providing really good blasters for a really good price. And that's the whole reason the sort of alpha line exists, you know is just to, to try to get that market share back from these other parties. There you go, let that fall. It shouldn't get damaged too much. Got your four C cells. These are a little bit drained because these were in a rapid strike, but they should have enough juice. One nice thing is that this blaster does seem to be hitting a bit hotter according to Buff Daddy's reviews on blaster hubs. But yeah, I might just end up leaving these batteries in for the whatever kid gets it next. I don't know yet. Ugh. 
And furthermore, ugh. So ridiculous. Okay, that sounds like a freaking lawnmower. It is a little bit slow on the spin-up because obviously my batteries are a little bit low, but whatever. I'm going to take out one dart, and that shall be my testing dart. Hello, one testing dart. Okay, the darts immediately. Feels a bit like polypropylene, which is what uh, tougher sort of styrofoam style containers are made out of, which I actually have a folding uh, cooler, which is made out of polypropylene instead of styrofoam. So it is more tough, but it's still gonna wrinkle, it's gonna crack, it's gonna dent. I'm not, I'm trying not to damage it that much. It's, it's like these are somewhere in between new Megas and then they're closer to old school Megas I've heard from Buff Daddy, but yeah, like, okay rotates uh if you're holding the blaster it rotates clockwise and the whole point of these darts is that the little post on the back acts as the sort of guard to tell the blaster if it's got a dart in there or not so if there's only one way for people to get these darts and that's from hasbro themselves and you can even get those bat those darts at the walmart where this thing was at and I've seen the prices of that $20 for 10 or something, like 50 cents a dart. That is just absolutely ridiculous. And these things are gonna get stepped on, they're gonna get lost. Kids are gonna be like, mommy, mommy, where's my darts? I need more darts for my blaster because I keep losing them or they keep getting broken. Like if you step on them once, you're probably not gonna ever be able to shoot them again. Like at least with things like 50 cal foam, you can kind of use them again. But these, you're, you're up Crab Creek without a battle. Seventy-seven. So even with the four uh, drain batteries, it still is hitting hotter than most elite blasters. But yeah, like I still, and I've seen firing footage of this blaster and everything, especially from that promotional video, which I'll probably splice in up in the corner or whatever, just so you can see how much they had to lob those shots. Which I'm not sure if that was just a bad pre-production model or what, but yeah. Like, the ergonomics of this thing are pretty good. The fact that you've got extra dart storage on the back here is good. I just wish it were more for, like, something like a Mega. Like, if this thing shot Megas, that'd be pretty cool, because it'd be essentially a 25, 24, 5 dart barricade, like Mega Barricade. Like a, a semi-auto Macedon, essentially. But no, it's, it's, it's a cash grab by Hasbro. Like... Everything else about this blaster is good, like the fact that it uses a larger battery so you get more battery life out of them, which does lend itself to a little more weight. But yeah, like, the drum. Like, having a drum is great for HVZ. Like, you could top up on the fly and everything. That's one of the reasons I like the Savage Spin so much. And, like, you've got no sort of, like, you've only got, like, one rail on the thing. Well, two rails. There you go, you have double optics, but yeah. You got your sling mounts, that's okay. But everything else about... Just the whole idea behind the Ultra Line, like, it should have been an official Hasbro-style Dart Zone Pro Mark I-style thing, or, like, maybe a higher-voltage flywheel thing, which I've seen Buff Days tear down this. This thing has actually a... Uh, this thing actually has a sort of uh, variable crush cage where these darts are more rigid than most others. Uh, where these tend to squish and everything, you can have high crush to really grip the darts. This cage kind of flexes around the darts more and has larger motors, probably about the same size as these. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. That's my review. I'm not going to drop a link down below because I just don't think that we should support Hasbro's sort of cash grabby, capitalistic, just bull crap. Uh, yeah. It's, I'm just gonna I'm gonna box this back up the way it was, make sure everything's in there, take batteries out and all that. And I'm going to return this to Walmart and get my refund because 
I actually need that money because I am actually going to Ragfest this year. Thanks to a person who is very, very generous and I don't know why they would even want, like, want to pay for me to be flown out there to even, like, hang out, like, be in a hotel room and all that. Like, I, I have no idea why they're being so generous. I, uh, yeah. But yeah, I hope to see you there. My name is Valor. I'll drink, drop links down below to the Patreon where you can see all sorts of stuff. See what I'm working on. That sort of thing. I'm tired. Thank you. This box up. Gonna go back to Walmart. Get a refund. Thanks for watching.